So let's take a look at how we're going to test um, your guys' linked list. So you need to write a tester class that checks the methods in your linked list. And so there's a bunch of different ways that you could do this, but probably the simplest way to do it is to have a separate class. And in our tester class, we're going to have our main method, because none of the other classes that you have except the calculator has a main method, right? So you probably want a main method. Um, so you can run this program. And so now we're going to have a linked list. And we could put whatever you want in a linked list, right? So we could make people objects and put them in. We could make student objects and put them in. We could make string objects and put them in. But what we really want is like five or ten things, or maybe a hundred things, or a thousand things that we want to add to our linked list. So instead of making a thousand different strings and trying to come up with variations on strings, there's a really simple way to make a thousand different things. We'll just use numbers. So let's make a list like this. And so now what we want to do is add some numbers to the list. So we could just um, write a bunch of different for loops and add and remove stuff. But let's think ahead a little bit. What we probably want to do is just start with a small number. But once we've tested it with a small number, maybe we want to test our linked list with a larger number. So if we create a variable, let's say n, which initially we'll just set to 10. But once we're happy with 10, we might try 1,000 just to see what happens. Right? So now, all we've got to do is come up with 10 numbers that we can add to our list. So that's pretty easy. For in i is equal to 0, i is less than n, increment i. And we just call list add first i. Okay. So we've added 10 things to our linked list. Cool. Hopefully that runs. Hopefully um, there's no problems. We don't get any errors. Yep. Uh -huh. So the question is, why am I using list i here instead of linked list? Because this implementation is u of list i is using a linked list. But suppose I have another different implementation that I want to test. Maybe I have a slightly different implementation. You guys don't have this, but I could have I could have an array-based list implementation, right? And so I only have to change the object that I'm calling here, but the rest of it, the list i stays the same. Remember, list i is our interface, and our linked list, in our case, our linked list implements the methods in the interface. And so we're allowed to define this variable as a list i object, and then to say that we're using the linked list implementation of that list i interface. Okay? Here's our list. When we add, let's say we add our 0, We add our zero to the linked list. And now we're going to do an add first. So when we add first, remember, we create a new node. So our node will be one. Here's next. We make next point to our existing node. And we update the head pointer so that head points to our new node. And now if we make a new node for number two, we make next point to our existing node, and we update our head pointer. So that head points to our new node. That's our add first method. So our list becomes from greater than to less than from head to tail. All right, so we've added some numbers. We've added 10 numbers in this case to our list using add first. Remember, the list starts at head and goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And so we can now try a couple of different ways 
to remove numbers. So we could, for example, say um, for int i is equal to n minus 1, i is greater than or equal to 0, i minus minus. And so now we're going to do a list int x is equal to list dot remove first. Right? And we should then be able to check if x and i are not the same, do something. Okay. So that's testing our remove first method. We could start with i equal to 0 and increment i. And then we can call int x is list remove last. Okay. So we can check our remove first and we can check our remove last methods. Are they doing what we expect? And of course we could change our list add first to our list add last and do the same thing. Don't forget to check your size counter after you're doing adding and removing. Is your current size correct? So with pretty simple code in a separate class, just using integers, you can test all of your linked list methods. Okay?